Do you like watching Korean TV shows? Then you might have noticed that there is one figure that appears as a regular in every major TV show. He is so famous that he is sometimes called the Yu God. His name is Yu Jae-seok and he's the nation's MC and most beloved celebrity in South Korea. Recently, even global superstar BTS has confirmed to appear on his show, Yu Quiz on the Block. With BTS as the guest and Yu Jae-seok as the host, anticipation is high as the two most influential figures in Korea will gather together on this episode. Of course, BTS is currently enjoying unrivaled global popularity. But at least in Korea, it is no exaggeration to say that Yu Jae-seok is a legendary entertainer who is as respected around the nation as much as BTS. So who is Yu Jae-seok and why is he so loved? Alright, so we can say he's like the Conan O'Brien of Korea. If Conan has won 16 Emmys, and if he can be recognized by anyone in the country, same goes for Yu Jae Suk as well. He was and is a central member of shows like Running Man, Infinity Challenge, and Happy Together, as well as countless others. He's beloved for many reasons, one of them being an amazing MC, but a lot of it has to do with the kind of person he is. So here's a little bit about his backstory. Born and raised in Seoul in 1972, Yu Jae-seok showed exceptional talent for making others laugh since childhood. In 1991, he made a successful debut at KBS as the youngest comedian at the age of 19. A prodigy comedian with outstanding talent, it seemed all he had left then was to walk a straight path to success. But Yu Jae-seok would spend a long, long time in obscurity. Compared to his contemporaries, he didn't have a particularly striking personality and no buzzword to call his own. Even worse, severe camera shyness made this otherwise witty and hilarious comedian just boring and uninteresting whenever he stood in front of a camera. His friends would joke, why haven't I ever seen you on TV when you're a celebrity? And even that Yu Jae-seok with all his god-given gift of wit and jest couldn't say a word of comeback. With growing inferiority complex and anxiety for an uncertain future, he would drop on his knees and pray. If you give me one chance, if you give me one chance as a comedian, if you grant my wish, I promise that if I ever one day forget this humble, desperate mindset, if I ever become ungrateful for my success, you can strike me down with the most unimaginable suffering and I will not say a word of complaint. He would spend 10 years since his debut playing minor roles and making small TV appearances until one day, he'd come face to face with the biggest opportunity of his lifetime. He was invited to appear on the Seosaewon Show, a David Letterman style Korean talk show that was hugely popular at the time. Here, Yu Jae-seok would wedge his shaky hands under his legs, overcome his camera shyness, and finally make his name known by drawing big laughs. It was the end of his 20s spent in obscurity. Afterwards, he'd appear on many, many different TV shows. Among all the roles he played, there was one that really stood out and made an impression on all viewers. The host of TV programs. From the classic shows like Star Survivor, Donggo Dongnak, and Gongpoi Kung Kung Da, to some of the most popular shows today like Infinity Challenge, Running Man, and Happy Together, Yu Jae would quickly rise to fame as the nation's unparalleled favorite TV show host. He now goes by many titles, the grasshopper for the stance he used to do, the national MC, but most of all Yunu-nim calling him a literal god. He's never experienced an explosive popularity phase like BTS, but he has held these honorary titles at the peak of the Korean entertainment industry for two decades. Yu jae currently holds 16 entertainment awards, far ahead of anyone in Korean entertainment history. But above all, he is most beloved for his humanitarian virtues. It seems he hasn't forgotten his words of prayer during his difficult time in obscurity. He regularly donates gratuitous sums to elderly homes, homeless shelters, poverty or disaster hit areas, and more. Reports say that the estimations of his charity donation rivaled that of big corporations, giving Yu Jae-seok yet another nickname, the King of Charity. Not only that, he is also down to earth, humble, and just well known to be one of the nicest people in the entertainment business. The list of heartwarming stories and testimonials from his staff and fellow celebrities goes on and on. During lunch, he sits with staff members who's eating alone, he brings water to the camera staff who can't leave their situation for long periods of time. On TV, he always turns the spotlight away from himself so that the lesser known celebrities have their chance to talk. He's even paid rent of struggling comedians on their behalf. So all in all, it seems there's little wonder as to why Yu Jae-seok is the nation's favorite MC.
I've seen so many people around me rise to stardom and collapse overnight. A lot of people change after they become famous and I decided not to be that kind of person. I'll always try my best to be humble, honest, sincere. I'll always be a comedian who can make people laugh by facing my life seriously.